Okay guys, here's a brand new Class B RV. Listed at 109,000. This is a Ford Beyond, is what they call it. Ford Beyond. A lot of windows. A bigger uh, Class B van. Let's take a look inside. Okay. And uh, there's one major entrance to the passenger side. Big slide door. Okay, what I like about this... One is you do have a little bit of a step up, okay? And uh, this is a Coachman Beyond is what they call it. But you have this nice big uh, handle to help yourself up, okay? So now as soon as you go up, you're faced with this one cabinetry here, which is your wet bath, okay? Which is a negative a little bit with these Class Bs because they're a small bathroom. That's the trade-off. But you got your toilet there. You got your shower, okay? And, you know, you got a little uh, nice faucet set up here. Not too cheap. A little bit on the higher end. You got a nice uh, vanity. And then you just have a little LED light. So, you can fit in here if you were big or elderly. It may be a little bit of an issue. But for a regular sized person, uh, you'd be okay. Okay. So, that's as soon as you walk in. Then, as soon as I go to the left, here is looking at your entire camper van. Okay. And so, what you do have is the... Um, electric um, stove top which is on these newer higher end units they got kind of got away from the propane you just kind of do this off electric induction stove top they call it and this is your sink it's got a little sink cover so you can have more counter room space very uh, elegant round shape but not very deep so it's not very practical pretty but not practical for most big dishes but living if you're living out of this you know you have to consider you're on a minimalistic scale they have a nice um little draw section there let me show you too before i forget they do have a screen okay retractable screen i let that slide too hard a retractable screen okay and the good thing is this class b uh does have a refrigerator and a freezer these class b vans some of the lower model ones they don't have both they just have a small little uh refrigerator but here you got the freezer on the bottom the refrigerator on top Okay, you got a microwave, you got your AC up top, you have an exhaust fan, LED light, cabinetry on the side, a lot of room. Okay, and you got a very unique bed setup. I say this is probably the biggest attraction. Why? Because you got this nice swivel chair, swivel desk. You could sit here and do your work. And then this is either a full size mattress as is, down like that. It can fold up for a third row seating or you could also put something here and make this a huge uh, queen size bed. So very nice and you got great cross ventilation. You got a window here. Okay. The back windows are just for visibility, not for uh, venting. And then you have the other window here that would give you the cross ventilation. You have a little LED light up top. Okay. And this is a TV. So I like this back bed setup. You can use the back doors for egress, for getting in and out. I like the workspace. I like the flexibility of the sleeping and living quarters. Uh, the kitchen galley is tight and pretty, but a little bit unpractical if you're going to do a lot of cooking. But again, living out of a camper van, it's not much cooking. Positive here is you got to do a, have a refrigerator and a freezer. Do have a microwave. As most Class B vans, you have a small little wet bath. Let's take a look at your cab. You got one cabinet up above. Here are your gauges. And this is your cockpit, okay? You do have cruise control. Again, sitting on a Ford chassis. Basic uh, Class B, I would say, camper van. Best thing about the camper van is you park at your campground or a truck stop or whatever. You, sl you don't have to get out of your car. You got window covers here. It comes with window covers. You black out these front windows. And you take a step back and you're in your house. Uh, now you're paying for a house because you're paying a hundred thousand one oh nine hundred and nine thousand dollars before negotiation. Again, this is a coachman beyond. And we'll take a look here at the back. It's got dual wheels on the back, I believe. Yep. And this is uh sitting on again that transit XLT chassis. And here are your hookups on the driver's side 
and it's uh look it's a it's a nice unit it's big it's expensive but if you're in the camper van market and you want to be a little bit bigger than the average camper van it's another option and i like to show you different options to spark inspiration desire or motivation leave a comment below let me know what you think uh, let me know if you would camp or live out of this and if you would spend $109,000 for it. See you in the next video. Peace.